Good afternoon, YouTube. It is a resplendent and warm spring day here in Pennsylvania, specifically here near Pittsburgh in Beaver County, Pennsylvania. Which brings me to the cemetery today is because I wish to do a slight, very short story here about an NBA legend. And for those of you who are into NBA basketball, you probably know this gentleman. And his name is Norman Van Leer. Norman Van, Norman Allen Van Leer, excuse me, the third, was an NBA basketball player, television and radio sportscaster who spent the majority of his career with the Chicago Bulls. Uh, Norman Van Leer went to Midland High School. He was in the uh, 1965 PIA State Championship basketball team, the College of St. Francis in Loretto, Pennsylvania from 1965 to 1969. He, drew, he was drafted into the NBA in 1969 as a third round pick, 34th overall, selected by the Chicago Bulls. His pro career was from 1969 to 1979. He was a point guard. He was an all NBA 1973-1974. He was an NBA All-Star 1974-1976 and 1977. NBA All-Defensive Team 1971-1978. He was an NBA leader in assists in 1970 and 1971. He scored 8,770 points, 11.8 per game. Rebounds, 3,596. He was an NBA leader, NBA leader in assists of 5,217. He was an Emmy Award winning sportscaster. Uh, I gotta be honest with you guys. I did not know who Norman Van Leer was until someone here in this town suggested to me after watching several of my videos that I had made in the cemetery and said, go check out Norman Van Leer. And he is one of the few people from this area that was into the, you know, got drafted and played for the NBA. The other famous person, of course, being Pete, Pete Maravich, who was from my hometown, Aliquippa. Uh, Pete Maravich's parents are buried in the St. Elijah Serbian Orthodox Cemetery in Aliquippa, slash Hopewell, whatever you want to call it. And, um, my father knew his parents. He did not know Pete. Pete died when I was a teenager, so he died of a, he died of a heart attack at the age of 40. But it's him and Norman Van Leer that really hold the uh, gold here in Beaver County for NBA championships, NBA players, maybe the NBA itself. So this is his final resting place, guys. And I just thought that, uh, you know, I would like to pay tribute to his memory. I feel that his contribution in the NBA, and you know, is, is worthy of mention, even on my channel. So he has something on the other side of his grave here. <laughs> it's a it's a basketball. It's a Wilson basketball. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but is it, well, this is a. It says NBA. Do, do not, don't they use Spalding basketballs, though, in the NBA? Maybe in his time they used Wilson. I don't know. Maybe they used both. Someone feel free to answer that question below this video. But this is where he's at. He's got a very beautiful stone. Sadly, though, you know, there never seems to be anything on here. I walked past this grave numerous times, but I really didn't pay it any mind over the course of my time here until, you know, it was brought to my attention. And I never see anything on his grave. I don't know if he has any children. I don't know if he has any family members left here in this area. But uh, if you know of this man, if you went to school with him, played basketball with him, went to college with him, drop me a line below the video here. Let us know. If you have a story you would like to share about Mr. Van Leer, I'd love to hear it. Not much seems to be known about him anymore. And I don't think he should be forgotten. I don't think his story and contribution should be forgotten. If you know anybody that knew him and you know something about him, drop a comment below this video. I want to hear about it. This is a short video, guys. I apologize. But again, I just wanted to put this on my channel because he was an NBA player and he was from this area. He went to school in Midland, which is right down that way. It is such a beautiful day here. And this, again, is the final resting place of Norman Van Leer, NBA basketball player for the Chicago Bulls. There's a nice picture from his Bulls shirt on. 
Okay, guys, that's going to be at the end of this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know. If you have a story you would like to share, if you know anything more about this man that is going to be relevant to this video and you it's a great story and you want to share it, drop a line below this video. Comment, like, subscribe once again. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Out.